Hello there, welcome to the ELX Shell project and uh, in this video we're going to be doing the projects together so without further ado I'm going to get started so in this current file I'm in my shell.h which is going to be my header file for the simple shell project and in this file I'm going to include all other files I'm going to need for the project I'm doing this so that I wouldn't go through the trouble of including each other file in the edge file I want to use it so this just does everything for me all I just need is include a single other file and everything is included all right so now I'm going to add over to the entry point for my program and here in this entry point that's where I'm going to create a loop so that's going to be an infinite loop which means our shell is going to continue requesting for a command each time it executes a command if you notice while using your shell that's a batch or whichever shell you're using it keeps on bringing out a prompt and telling you to give it a command so with the infinite while loop we'll be able to achieve that and after the while loop we're going to use the guideline function which is going to read it it's going to read the in user input before it tokenize and does the rest so now that our infinite loop is ready i'm going to create another file where i'm going to have my guideline function where my guideline function is going to perform its own operation wasn't done writing the code for this file i'm going to show you the manual for get launch function so that you can have a better understanding about the end variable and the both variable that i did there so if you observe carefully 
are initialized and to be zero and both to be null. So the reason for this is and it's going to be the size of my bubble because the guideline function receive an array and also it receives the size of the array where it's going to store the user input so now the both ought to be a two-dimensional array so in this case i'm just using a single pointer which means it's just an array which is only going to take strings and not strings of strings so that's why i'm using the and there to refer to the both so that does that for me and also for the end then i'm going to include the third parameter which is going to be the third argument that's the std and so i'm trying to go to the man page for guideline so you can see that you can see the double star in front of line and the size underscore t of n and the std notion the file stream where we're going to read from earlier i've not decided on the prototype i'm going to use for the read command and now that i've already done that in the read command file i'm going to copy and drop it in the other file so that i won't encounter compilation error I believe you know how to do that so i'm going to add over to compile and see what i've been doing so far whether i'm wrong or right oh but i i misspelled the guidelines function so i'm going to go correct that instead of e i root r so you will not take notes of the spellings okay so i'm going to compile again well i didn't get any error so i'm going to run it you can see my prompt is working and i'm just clicking on enter and uh, it keeps on moving to the next line so that's what you want to do so your program you know once you continue clicking on enter it continues going to a new line you create a new line so let's assume i have a prompt where i'm going to create that i'm going to create a prompt so that it can look very similar to that of the shell so you can see how that works it's going to continue displaying and you're going to see how everything is so i believe you can see the code everything i did add to it's not rocket science it's just as simple as this so as we grow we're going to continue making changes to yes you could write it either way you like it the most important thing for you to know is how it's been done then you can give it different approach it's not necessary you copy this code and i would advise you to copy the code i'm putting here because this will most likely be the code i'm going to submit and i don't want camera flagging me or you so and also i want you to take note of betty so once you're done with it you just run betty for the old code to see if you're doing something wrong or right I think Betty's gonna flag me for this line, this comment I just created because looks more it looks cumbersome. Alright, so I'm just right trying to write some comment for my partner to see what I did there and to be able to understand. Alright. So I think that'll be all for this video. See you in the next one.